With so many brushes to choose from, it can feel really overwhelming as a beginner. So I'm gonna talk you through three brushes that I would highly recommend to create a full face of makeup. Starting off with the Blanc Canvas Cosmetics F20. This is a flat topped kabuki brush. And as you can see, it is extremely dense. And each one of these hairs is gonna pick up your foundation and apply it onto your face, meaning you're gonna use less product, you're gonna get fuller coverage, but you can also keep that nice soft blend because it's so soft and easy to work with. So this brush can be used for buffing or blending, create a medium or full coverage depending on how you apply it, and once you learn how to apply it, the application is very easy. It's best used for liquid foundations, but you can also use it for your powders too. The great thing about this brush is you can use it for your foundation, your contour, your powders, your blush, your highlight. And what I like to do is I actually apply my concealer and use this brush to blend out my concealer as well. That way I don't have to have an extra concealer brush. So apply it with the sponge tip applicator or your fingertips and blend it out with this brush. Then for the foundation, I take a little bit on the back of my hand, stamp it in, and you wanna keep the brush going against the skin, not tilted downwards or upwards, but coming straight on in a sort of woodpecker motion. Bouncing this off and on the skin repeatedly to apply a little bit of foundation, and then this will gradually turn into a full coverage finish. Now for setting the makeup, I've chosen the F16. And the reason I've chosen this is because it is a tapered brush, meaning we can use it in a few different ways. So the tapered shape will allow you to press on powder or to sweep powder. Now it does work best with powders. So your powdered bronzers, blushes, it's big enough that it can be used on the body as well as the face. And what I like to do is I use it for my contour first of all, because that tapered edge allows me to have lots of control. So taking a little bit of my bronzer, I do a three sweep from my forehead to my cheeks to my jaw. But then I can also use it to apply my baking powder, my setting powder, applying a little bit of powder under my eyes. That's what I love about this brush. So much control. And then we have our blush brush. Now this can be used in two different ways. Because it is flat but also slender, we can apply our products in a flat motion or a sweeping motion and is incredibly soft. Also, it's synthetic, which means you can use this with creams like cream blushes or even apply your foundation with this brush. It is completely multi-purpose and incredibly easy to use because it is so silky soft. My favorite way to use it is just as my blush brush, take a little bit of blush, tap it onto those cheeks, and it also works great as a highlighter brush or even a setting powdered brush. Once again, being super multi-purpose. So those would be my top three brushes. They can be used in multiple different ways. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll try and get back to you. And I will see you guys in the next one.